There are so many esophageal stents now in the market from many companies, but the two main aspects that you need to recall and remember about esophageal stents is if they are fully covered or if they are partially covered. Nowadays, we are not using uncovered esophageal stents anymore. Other important aspects about the anatomy of stents is the following. You can see that the proximal part has always a dilation or a larger part to prevent the stent number one from migrating and number two also to adapt to the esophageal lumen and prevent the leakage or pass of content such as food and liquids on the sides. Many stents also have a dilated distal part, so two dilated parts, two more expanded parts. This is very nice to anchor the stent proximally and distally, but if the stent is placed distally, it's better to have a non-tulip part because you don't want to have a lot of stomach contents going through the stent. So this is a very important tip. Another tip is also the diameter of the stents because some strictions might be very tight and not all the stents will be good because some stents are too large and they can cause a lot of pain on the patient. Therefore, you need to do a personalized stent placement based on what the patient needs are. Other important parts of stents are these strings. This is the proximal part of the stent and this is the proximal part. I place this on purpose because I usually ask my fellows to tell me which part is the proximal part of the stent and now you know the answer. It's where the string is. I'll show you a trick at the end with the string because this is placed there for a reason.